Hey, what's going on guys, Hex here, and today we're taking a look at Hasbro's Marvel Legends 6-inch X-Men Wave Warlock Build-A-Figure. I uh, give you guys a little 360 of him. Uh, as you can see, he comes with a fist in case you don't want to use the saw blade. So we'll take a look at that in a second. But first, a little 360. Uh, as you can see, he is very tall. I have some size comparisons with some other figures in the Wave, and he is very detailed. Uh... At first, I wasn't sure how I felt about this figure whenever I first saw him, but I um, started looking back into some of the uh, X-Men, uh, you know, cartoons that I used to watch, and I was like, oh, yeah, that guy. So, uh, glad to have him, you know, finally build him, have him on the shelf. Uh, remember, uh, if you watched the review on Colossus and saw how tall he was, uh, there's Warlock compared to Colossus. Bring in one that is kind of the normal height. Here's Cyclops, so you can see that he towers over him. And then bring in one of the shorter one and Wolverine. And, uh, I mean, oh, not, not quite, but almost twice his size. So, um, you know, as far as these, the scale goes for, uh, this Warlock guy, uh, I really like it. He's big, uh, he's tall, lanky, um. But first off, you know, uh, getting into the uh, the accessory of the hand, uh, this kind of gives you a good idea of the paint that is all over this guy. So it's like a black, but they kind of washed it with this gold color. And you can see that kind of all over. And you can see that the, um, you know, there with the knuckles and uh, the wiring and stuff like that. Uh, very robotic look. Uh like that so uh the paints like this all over the figure so we will go ahead and put these arms down and we'll first get into the the head sculpt here so uh again like i said you know with the black and the gold uh it's just black and gold all over except for you know the teeth and the eyes which i love the way they did those eyes as well uh, i like those uh one's a little bit larger than the other um uh, this the paint job on this build a figure is amazing I, I, I like the way it looks and you can see also all the detail throughout the figure uh all this robotic looking stuff you can see that it's it's all over which i like and you know here on the back too you can see all this uh together and uh these little wires i wish these wires were a little bit longer uh so whenever you try to rotate his arms forward they they pull out pretty easily um but uh, if I only had one complaint, that would be it, you know, that these wires, they pop out just a little too easy uh, whenever we try to move his arms, which uh, we'll get into in a second. But again, you know, with all the, you can see all the paint all over and uh, all the little, you know, details and the mold also. Just want to give you guys a, a really good look over them. You can see there's, you know, even with the feet, a lot of nice detail, the shins, legs, thighs, and just everything has really nice detail you know, with the hand. I like the way that hand's done as far as the uh, mold goes. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty kind of a, you know, general look at him. Uh, I think he, he he's pretty sweet. Well, let me get this uh, focus for you. Now, as far as the articulation goes, uh, head, obviously, you know, on a ball joint rolling around here, you have the neck joint going back and forth. Then you have, let's see, these are connected at the moment. You have the shoulders that go back and forth, but as you can see, just going one click, uh, you know, it, the wire popped out and you just kind of have to friction, pop it back in there, go forward again, you know, there it comes out. So, uh, I don't know if I would necessarily glue, super glue those in, uh, but uh, same thing with the elbow because it's connected down here at the elbow. You know, you can already see it starting to come out. Uh, so with the shoulder, anyway, you can go, you know, forward like so. You can go up and down, and you can see that that works. You have a bicep swivel right here, uh, which would also make that pop out. You have an elbow bend, but there's well, like only two motions. There's down. One click, and then there's 90 degrees. There's like no in-between there. So it's down, and you can see that it's just floppy mess right here uh, because it's just down, and then that one click, you get it up. So I think that, you know, they could have done a little bit better there. You know, put a few extra little clicks. You can see they're both like that. Just a loose mess until you get them, you know, that one 90-degree click, 
and then it'll stay there. So, and then you have the the wrist that you know rotates. You can pull this off. You can put this fist on. Uh, same thing with this one over here. You know, this one rotates as well. And uh, that's it for the arms. The waist or chest area it rotates and it's got like a little bit of a ball joint there but doesn't get a whole lot of movement legs back and forth uh, they go out as well you have a thigh cut right there you have a pretty good bend here in the knee so double joints there and then you have the foot that goes back and forth and also kind of rotates side to side so uh, as far as build of figures go, uh, I, I think he's pretty good. Uh, you know, just have that one complaint with the the wires, and I guess the second one is the elbows. You know, you just have the two clicks there instead of you know maybe adding another one, so you can get a little bit more uh, posability out of them. Or if you wanted to put them in an action pose, but uh, you know, still pretty pretty sweet uh, figure. I think he's uh, worth getting. Uh, I like most of the figures in the wave. Uh, far. Uh, uh, what's it? Sunfire. It's the only one that I'm kind of like, ah, I could have done without him. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.